Oof. <laughs> that was not a soft landing! Ooh. Oh. I think we must be done now, surely. Objectives completed. Is that it? No, I don't want to end the mission. I, I want to jump around in my sh bloody ship here that I've just acquired. I like it. But if we must leave, then we must leave. Playtime's over. we go. So we found the wreckage of the freighter MSV Rosalie. We've acquired the M44 Hammerhead and the research data. A little tiny piece of experience gained. 15,000 credits. Close report. Alright, <coughs> it remains to be seen if we can use that little uh, ship there in any future missions, but um, I'm doubting it. Only time will tell, I suppose. Okay, so whilst we're in this current cluster, I believe that there is um, another mission in here involving Zaid in the fire system. So we're going to head over there now, whilst we're already over here. Might as well kill two birds with one stone, as I say. Jet across. Only half our fuel remains. Half fuel remaining. Thank you, Edie, for your diagnostic analysis. Ooh, purpley planet. Hito. While the ice mines of Viantel make a great deal of profit from ships passing through Faya's mass relay, the real money is made at Hito. As the only gas giant in the Faya gateway system, Hito is heavily developed by rival Helium-3 mining concerns. The world has three major and 26 minor moons, each of which is claimed by a different company. Those based on moons deeper into the gravity well tend to specialise on Helium-3 extraction and refining, whilst those on the farther moon specialise in refueling services and shipment. The local economy is driven by black marketeering, backroom deals and cutthroat business. Each company attempts to sabotage its rivals' facilities whilst protecting their own moon. This has led to open corporate warfare three times in the last century. All the major mercenary groups have offices in the Hito planetary system, though the Blue Suns enjoy a home team advantage, shipping in cheap logistical supplies from Zoria. Largest port is Shoal Prime. So that's Hito. Moving on to a little blippy thing here. Is this a planet or a rock? <laughs> uh, Vientel. It's a dwarf planet. Vientel's large amounts of water have led to heavy development by water cracking industries seeking to turn the planet into hydrogen oxygen fuel for starship thrusters. The surface is blanketed with habitation modules, mining equipment and cracking stations. Since the initial settlement of Ilium in the nearby Taysail system, the radius of Vientel has decreased by 2 kilometers, indicating removal of over 72,000 cubic kilometers of ice. Some groups are concerned that the rate of loss may cause instability in the remaining structure. The largest port, Kylios Station. And moving to another little blip. Imane. Small cratered rock. And that's about as much as we like to see about that. But over here, this is the main hub of this system. Zoya. Mud, sweat and spores is how Blue Sun's mercenaries characterise the planet that gave birth to their home office. This lush garden world is known for its heavy plant and fungal life. 
creating spectacular jungle zones over much of its eight continents. Despite persistent problems with rot and rust, Zoya attracts investors and corporations from all throughout the galaxy, since it has exploited only a fraction of its potential resources. The Blue Suns dominate security contracts in Zoya so much that residents describe them less like a monopoly and more like a conquering regime. Population 148 million. Capital Thun. Uh, quite a warm average temperature of 33 Celsius. Surface G is 1 and atmospheric pressure is 1.22. No wonder it's a nice place to be. So let's land and find out what's going on down here. Shall we? Well, Zaid has to come with us. And I think we will take <coughs> Morden, I think. Bit of a change of pace. Okay, concussive shot, we'll get to level th two for now. Disruptor ammo, mercenary veteran. Uh, there we go. Seems good to me. Uh, Morden can have um, an extra point in cryo blast. And Shepard, no points to spare. Has he got a glass eye or is it just like a really mugged up eye? Okay, so here we are. Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. What pistol have I got here? This doesn't look like a gun. This looks like the ah, I think this is a submachine gun. I don't want that. I want my shotgun. I'm thanking you. Codex, what have we seen? Ah, the hammerhead. Highly maneuverable, mass effect assisted armoured vehicle. Using three solid ro uh, fuel rocket thrusters instead of wheels, the hammerhead hovers over the battlefield up to 120 kilometers mile per hour. I mean, 120 kilometers per hour. Allowing it to maintain formation with swift armoured units, skim across calm water, and even leap terrain obstacles. Yep, we've seen how it could leap. Airtight interior, 360 degrees kinetic barriers, guided missile system. Similar controls to a tank. Two meters off the ground, standard cruising altitude. <laughs> Can you even call it an altitude? Two meters off the ground? Anyway, I'm still wondering if we can use this in any other missions. Okay, so we need to liberate the refinery, but before we can liberate it, we need to find it. So we are basically liberating the workers from the nasty clutches of the Blue Suns. Ah, wait a second. Wait a second, look at this. Project Firewalkers opened up some new side missions. So apparently there is a volcano station. There are some survey sites. And also there is some geth activity. So we can use the uh, hammerhead, not for our main missions, but for further Project Firewalker missions. So we get to play it a bit later on, that's good. We'll do those another time. For now, we shall focus on liberating these uh, w w refinery workers. And stop fantasizing about playing with fancy toys. Have I got my incendiary ammo on here? Yeah, I do. 
Um, have you got disruptor ammo? And you... Yeah. As somebody quite rightly pointed out... A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. It doesn't cost you anything to put your ammo on and it stays on constantly so there's nothing to lose by keeping it on. And we have some kind of uh, scouting team heading to our location. It's fun and games are only seconds away. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Vito. That's the name of the guy that this guy wants the that Zaid wants to uh, exact revenge upon. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, look at them little monkey things! Remember those from Mass Effect 1? Yeah. I think it's down here. Command to Bravo, take a position. Likely these people are not runaways. Oh! Monkey chasing something else. Like a rat or something. It looks like some kind of rat. What? Who's seen me? Time to dance! <coughs> Up to the do! We're in and going! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! Did that hurt? Oh. Find cover, you that fools! One. Oh, missed. Zaid, are you in cover? Zaid, where are you? What a little maniac! Oh, you silly! At oh, wrong person. Moving out of line of fire. Nice. Are we done? <laughs> okay. Reinforcements incoming. Uh oh. Where are they? Sit down. Ooh. Oh, I can see something. I can see something. Here comes a heavy weapon. Get down. A mech. Firing an impact shot. Firing an impact shot. I love his accent. Oh come on, let me get close to the action here. Uh oh, pyromaniac. Aha, uh -huh, you can't touch me from over there, can you? Too far away, Mr. Pyromaniac. I don't want to go too close to him. Uh, this will do the trick. There we go. What are you doing? Get out of it! Oh! Yeah. Pull back indeed. Looks like you got yourself a, a bit of trouble, haven't you? Didn't expect that. Hey, right, good work, guys. Come on. We got him on the run. Let's push the advantage. We're not missing any uh, hidden items. This is Commander Santiago. If any of you retreat while the intruders are still alive, I'll kill you myself. Oh. Now get the hell back out there. Vito. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. 
Um, <clears throat> I couldn't help but notice something you just said then. You said, when we started the Blue Suns? Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? <laughs> Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? 